Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Webami Sky. Today we will see how to work on forms with the when you are working on Angular. So how you can deal with the form? Suppose we are going to save, edit, update some records in Angular. So how can you do that? Let us see in this art in this video. Uh, you may have heard about reactive form so this is very useful when you are going to work with forms in angular and it is very helpful to edit update delete or send the information to the web service to save it completely or permanently so here you can get this art video very useful in that that kind of scenarios Suppose we have one Angular component and one uh, and an and HTML template of that component. So in the Angular component, we are importing form group, form builder, validators, form array from Angular forms package or module. Then declaring the variables like test form from form group and this is the constructor and here in the constructor we have a share service share service you can give any of the name of the service and you you would be aware of the services that we use to integrate web services or apis to send or fetch data from of some server side languages like Node.js, PHP or any, any other and now we have here form builder so giving a name as FB now we are creating a form within the ng on edit function we are declaring test form and from the FB form group and specifying the fields that is ID, first name, last name, phone number Here, their default values are blank, so you can give the default value as well if you want. Suppose we have some, some list of records and when we, we click on any one record and we expect to show or display that information in the form, so this code is for that purpose. Suppose there is a record and we have clicked on the edit button and we are getting that data in this data variable and now we are setting this data in the form way to render the, that data or information in the form so we have set form data now we are patching them and displaying these field values in the form now test form dot, dot patch value now we are setting data.id, data.first name, last name, and phone in all these four fields. On the other hand, now let's go to the HTML template of that component. So this is the test form, which is a form group, and here. this is ng submit event and on this submit event we are calling update user and passing test form data values of these uh, of the of the form field values as you can see we are setting form data dot id in all the fields uh, in all four fields so in the id we are setting id now in the first name we are setting the first name test dot form dot value the first name then yeah, last name and your phone number once suppose uh, the form is set with all these required values and uh, we do some changes in the values and, and click on submit so on submit event it will call this function update user and this update user will also be in the component.ts file so that is the function and here we are 
sending the test form as you can see we have passed the test form here and this is the same which will contain all the data we are submitting so we have declared a blank variable and now setting these submitted uh, values in this user data and after setting all these values i am passing it to the update user data service so this dot share dot update user data service so this is the method of that service and passing it uh, user data into the, the service if it updates successfully properly the result will be console log you can so that you can see whether your function is uh, working properly or not so this is how you can uh, work with edit and display the form values when you are working on it so it is very helpful if you want to see in more details you can just uh, search it on the google about reactive form you will see a lot of details how you can work on the reactive forms in angular if you find this video useful please like and subscribe my channel